my Stampin' Friends, my name is Claudine from Les Trouvailles de Claudine or Crafting with Claudine. Today I'm going to be presenting uh, a um, scrapbook page that I've made uh, using the Paper Pumpkin uh, uh, kit from Exploring in Color, May 2023. So I'm just going to explain how I did because I inspired, I was inspired by two uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrators uh, about uh, doing this card and this card and I modified a little bit and I use also this beautiful texture uh, paper uh, right now available in, online on Stampin' Up! and it's the Countryside uh, in one of the texture paper that I took. You have this side, which is beautiful, it's like ocean, and this side. So, what I did is I, I used, um, let me see, I'm sorry for the noise of my chair. <laughs> this is the two uh, people that I uh, inspired myself to learn how to create and just did the front card and applied it on, a, on my DSP, designer series papers. Also, I used an envelope which we could put a picture and then I cut the, um, the the top and leave it as an insert, a pocket. And then I used these from another card that I did in the kit and I kept these ovals to fit, to put also pictures. And I took some of the stickers of the, uh, of the, uh, of the kit. And also it says on the stamp set, adventure. I cut uh, the D away from the adventure to make it for French. And aventure. And this is uh, Creative Chelsea. And I, here you can take a screenshot if you want. It's, uh, it's very basic, uh, quick notes that I took to do the project for this card. And uh, this is um, Melinda Hart. Also, this is faux window technique. Her, it's a uh, Creative Chelsea slimline card um, from the kit. And uh, let me show you what I created other than that. So this is, okay. So, um, oops, my card. This is another card that I, I was inspired, but I made it a booklet. Therefore, I was uh, I did some book binding previously by myself, um, a, a different type of uh, spine. So, um, and I had it put in my stash for a while, and uh, and I said, oh, I can I should use my front card all again and just cover it for my book. So this is a mini journal booklet. And so that's what I decided to do with some of the, the cards. I said, I'll just leave it as a front card and then I'll decide what I want to do because I like to do 3D projects. So this is another one and that's from another lady. Mm, I should uh, check uh, f and put uh, the, uh, the, um, the link about her. And I did explain in a previous video in French uh, some if you do understand a bit is like I I, I, I give some tr tricks about how to to do the the setup of that how to cut it and to keep in mind and to set and the setup so um, I really like that now you can recognize the ovals because I made uh, two layers three layers I had started with a heavy start a heavy card stock white then outside blue and inside blue, so three. <laughs> so this is another one. And this is the card that I had kept the front for my uh, my um, scrapbooking page. And you can see it's a multi-level with um, some, uh, uh, I, I forgot how to call it. <laughs> hey, it's the, um, oh, the dimensionals. <laughs> So I use some dimensions. So the link I will uh, give you for the first lady I mentioned, uh, she explained all of it, and um, and that's it. So so I really 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 enjoy this kit, and I think that's about it. I'm left with a few things to 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 continue, 
and uh, I hope you enjoy my little demonstration explanation flip through <laughs> of today's video and I will try to do some more in English from now on thank you so much for watching I hope you you liked and uh, you will subscribe and see you next time have a nice end of the day or evening bye bye